in this video I'm going to talk about mode of action of beta 2 agonists so beta 2 agonists are actually bronchodilators good bronchodilators so these beta 2 agonists uh, could be actually used in the treatment of asthma or other reversible pulmonary diseases so one good example of these beta 2 agonists are albuterone it's a prototypic beta 2 agonist and in this video I'm going to uh, describe how this beta 2 agonist uh, uh, imparts its effect that means how beta 2 agonist helps in bronchodilation so bronchodilation means uh, the relaxation of the smooth muscles of the bronchioles so how beta 2 agonist performs those and what are the exact signaling mechanism beneath this so here for instance let us assume this dot represent a beta 2 agonist such as albuterol so this beta 2 agonist bind to its receptor that is beta 2 receptor on the lung beta 2 receptor is found on lungs so this beta 2 receptor is a uh, 7 transmembrane domain protein it's a g protein coupled receptor also so when ligand that is the beta 2 agonist bind to this uh, g protein coupled receptor uh, the membrane bound g protein undergoes a conformational change and the GDP with the alpha subunit is getting hydrolyzed and uh, exchanged with the GTP. Now the alpha subunit bound with the GTP is active and this activated alpha subunit goes and it activates adenylate cyclase as we have seen in the basic mechanism of basic outline mechanism of any G protein signaling cascade and then the second messenger cyclic AMP would be generated from ATP and so on and so forth the basic mechanism is the same so what is the physiological effect of this mechanism so these uh, these whole signaling pathway will impart two physiological effect one is it inactivates the myosin light chain kinase this myosin light chain kinase is actually important for muscle contraction so if these myosin light chain kinase or mlck is inactivated then the uh, muscle contraction could be uh, prevented and decrease in intracellular calcium and in a moment we will see how these two effects are actually regulated so in normal cases calcium would form a complex with calmodulin and calmodulin will activate this mlck that is the myosin light chain kinase and the myosin light chain kinase will phosphorylate the myosin light chain when myosin light chain is phosphorylated it can form cross bridge with actin and the result would be muscle contraction now what happens the as a result of beta 2 agonist binding to the receptor it imparts a signal which tells the cell to inactivate the myosin light chain kinase so once the myosin light chain kinase is inactivated what happens this phosphorylated myosin light chain is not formed and these cross bridges are not formed so muscle contraction cannot take place so thus beta 2 agonist mediated signaling preventing the muscle contraction and ultimately it imparts the effect of bronchodilation it also decreases the calcium 2 plus level and indirectly uh, inhibiting the muscle contraction in this way beta 2 agonist such as albuterol imparts its effect uh, by causing bronchodilation hope you like this video and you have enjoyed thanks like please and please subscribe